So I found this interesting series here where each term comes from the last one and there's a specific pattern that determines how the next one will be formed. Okay, And if you're trying to figure it out, a big hint is that you can try saying the numbers out loud. Okay, So the pattern is that each number tells you how many of each digit are in the previous number. Okay, So for example, you start with 1, and then this tells you that the previous number had 1, 1 in it. This tells you the previous number had two ones in it. Okay, this one tells you the previous number had one two, and one one. Okay, so I thought it would be kind of interesting to try and make a program that could find you um, the next digit of this sequence for any number of terms, and this is what I ended up with. Okay, so I started with a function. It basically loops through um, the number you start with, all of its digits and it counts how many of each digit there are and then just um, returns the result. More specifically, it compares each digit to the digit that comes right before it. And if they're the same, it increments the count by one. If they're not, then it adds the number of that digit and what the digit is to the result string, okay? And then at the end of all this, the result is returned by the function and you get the next term of the sequence. And then this function right here just gives me an easy way to um, to run this function several times in a row. And then if I go ahead and run this function say 20 times, then we get this result. So we get the first 20 terms of the sequence. And you can see they get pretty long pretty quick. So this is, I believe, the 20th term. And if you check along with the previous one, you can see that it matches. So it starts with three ones, and we have three ones right here. Then it has one three, which is correct, um, and one two, and so on for the rest of the thing. And you can actually use this program to find um, basically any term of the sequence, provided you have enough processing power for that. And I thought it was pretty interesting, so I decided to share it. And that's it. Thanks for watching.